you can take a rating from the customer and based on the average of all the ratings you can decide whether you are delivering high value or not within social media fast responses are the norms for a customer so the customer expects the company to give a quick solution to all their problems with the help of customer satisfaction we are able to see how the company is meeting the customers expectations Hello everyone, I am Purnima, faculty in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I welcome you all to this session. In this session of Unit 2, Session 1, we will be discussing about customer concepts. Now, what are the various customer concepts, whether it is customer value, customer satisfaction, customer loyalty, customer retention, all these concepts we will be discussing in this Unit 2. Now, First one is introduction. Now in this, let us understand what is the meaning of customer value. Customer value is best defined as how much a product or service is worth to a customer. So what is the value of the product or service to the customer? It is a measure of all the costs and benefits associated with the product or service. Examples include price, quality and what the product or service can do for that particular person. There are also monetary, time, energy and emotional costs that consumers consider when evaluating the value of a purchase. So the value of a purchase not only includes the price, quality and what the product or service can do or the utility of the product but it also includes the time, energy and the emotional costs along with the product. Now. What do we mean by customer value creation? Isn't only about money. It's typically created through the solution that a product or service provides not only to the buyer, but to their organization as well. Keep in mind that customer value is subjective. Price is universal. It will cost every customer the same amount to purchase your product or service. So every customer will purchase the same, will pay the same money to either product or service. But the value will be different for every buyer because it involves same, so many variables including the customer experience. So for each customer, the purchase will be a different experience. So, delivering customer value is the key to maintaining long-term relationships with existing customers and earning repeated business. It is an important part of meeting customers' needs and expectations and learning how they change over time. Knowing how customers feel about your product and the service experience you offer is the key to building customer loyalty and increasing the customer lifetime value. So if the customer has had a very good experience, then you can always build the customer loyalty and the lifetime value. So customer value optimization starts with measuring it. So how do you increase the customer value? So the first one is ask customers a small set of questions. Second one is determine customer benefits and customer costs. Determine if the benefits outweigh the cost. Now here, ask the customer a small set of questions. To track customer value, you need to communicate directly with your customers. So you have to get the feedback directly from the customer. Ask them how your business is providing value and how it can continue to do so. Many companies opt to gather customer feedback by sending out regular surveys via email or by calling the customers directly. So you can always send mails or you can just call them and ask them for their feedback. First, come up with a small set of questions that will allow you to gauge the value you are delivering. For example, you could ask customers how your product or service help them achieve their goals or how your company could improve or provide more value. Then, the second one is determine customer benefits and customer costs. 
So along with qualitative questions, you should also pose quantitative questions to evaluate the value of a products or services. To get a sense of perceived value, you could ask the buyers to rate how satisfied they were with their purchase based on a scale from 1 to 5. Then you can take the average numerical rating and determine whether or not your company is delivering high value. So you can take a rating from the customer and based on the average of all the ratings, you can decide whether you are delivering high value or not. Once you have your feedback, create a list of the ways your team delivers and doesn't deliver the customer value. Then third one is determine if the benefits outweigh the cost. Finally, you can start to see whether the benefits like convenience, quality and brand reputation outweigh the cost such as price, time, investment and emotional stress. While it takes time and effort to measure your customer value, the insights you will gain will be invaluable. Then, customer value formula. So use the formula below to measure the customer value. So how do you measure the customer value? Total customer benefits minus total customer cost, we get the customer value. Total customer benefits minus total customer cost equals customer value. Benefits and costs can vary depending on the needs of a specific customer group. Customer personas, journey maps and support data can help you segment your customer base. Now, nine tips for increasing the customer value. So, how do you actually increase the customer value? Acting on the feedback is just as important as getting it. Taking customer feedback shows buyers that you care about them and are committed to providing a good experience which can help increase the satisfaction. So use feedback to identify areas of improvement and formulate a plan for delivering more value. You may find that you need to personalize your support interactions, provide multi-channel support options, create a robust onboarding program, then prioritize customer success, address patterns and support issues, make sure your customer knows you have heard them, find opportunities to surprise and delight your customers, acknowledge and reward customer loyalty, then give your customers a sense of community. Now, Next option is customer expectation. So what do we mean by customer expectation? They are a set of ideas about a product, service or a brand that the customer holds in their mind. Customers want these expectations met in order to feel satisfied with the customer's service and with their purchase. They'll also have expectations that aren't so easy to see. So they are the set of ideas or uh, they are the set of things which the customer will look forward to in a product or service. So why there are a number of reasons why the customer expectations have been changing over time. First one is demand for exceptional customer service is growing especially among the millennial generation. So there is a lot of demand for customer service. Microsoft found that 54% of the customers have higher expectations for customers today compared to one year ago. The demand for better customer experience is particularly strong with new millennial generation of customers who are expecting even higher levels of customer service experience. In the same study, a large proportion that is 66% of the customers were aged from 18 to 34 years old. So that is the youngest batch that is from the 18 to 34 years old. They expect more customer service from the organization. The second one is the power of the consumer is greater. With more competitors in each industry, the emphasis for companies must be on how to keep your customers happy because there are plenty of alternatives out there. So the power of the consumer. So whenever a consumer walks into your store, it will be the duty of the 
store people to take care of the customer because if you don't care take care of him there are so many others who will take care of him so there is lot of competition because of this increased power of the consumer and an expanding market it is reported that 48% of the consumers expect specialized treatment for being a good customer according to accenture then the next one is the digital experience is made possible with cheaper and more available technology nowadays all consumers have a smartphone or access to online services the marketplace is online and companies are moving to omni channel routes to sell products and services so if a company invests in digital technology solutions they have a competitive advantage over their rivals as companies that have embraced digital transformation are 26% more profitable then now the next point is changing events and circumstances impact the way customers behave if the last year with covid-19 has taught us anything it is that our social political and economic activities can change rapidly in response to emerging events so we have seen customer behavior change as a result which has its own knock on effects us census retail sales declined 8.7% from february to march 2020 the largest month to month decrease since the records began then more about customer expectation it will change and it is up to the brands to get a feel for the customers needs and expectations during these uncertain times common uh, customer expectations that company need to work on to provide an excellent customer experience so what are the various things the company has to look for in order to increase the customer experience first one is personalization this could happen when a customer service agent uses the customer's name in conversation or when the customer uh, receives email discounts tailored to what they usually or might like to buy it can occur as a service like personalized shopping styling or be built in the, into the product itself so it is just right for them so not only does it help to direct customers to products and services that they like making their consumer buying journey easier but it also improves the sales 80% of customers would be more likely to use an organization if they offer personalized experiences then second one is quality customer services customers want to see that you take care of their well being lives and what matters to them and customer experience is the way to do it by focusing on your customer your organization become can become 60% more profitable so if you are able to go, give a good customer experience to the customer so they will come back for more purchases this expectation can't be stressed enough treat your customers like vip the value of customer services actually influences the prices the customers will pay americans will pay 17% more to buy from a company that has a reputation for its great service companies have made real money from their reputation for having great customer service alone then the next one quality customer service is don't let your customers feel under appreciated said to be the top reason why customers switch brands by making more effort to engage and learn more about your customers wants feelings desires and beliefs be authentic and genuine in your interactions and most importantly be human empower your customer service agents to help the customer and make that their sole goal then quick resolution time for complaints customers want speed they expect a company to solve their issues quickly whether the complaint has been on digital channels like social media feedback email and web page comments or off the site on third party review sites 
within social media fast responses are the norms for a customer so the customer expects the company to give a quick solution to all their problems so statista found that 18% of the customers expected a response from a company social media within 1 hour as all information is public facing action or lack of action can be shared quickly for better or worse then the next one is low effort experiences customers don't have a lot of time figuring out how to purchase something using your system they will say no thank you to the multi step buying process and hello to the one click buying and saving banking details for the next time so even if we are going for online purchase a one click one step buying process will be more comfortable for the customer even after the purchase has been completed you can give the customer extra support when using the product or service lastly sending payment reminders emails ahead of time close to the customer service renewal date or periodic emails to ask for feedback will be appreciated then up to date knowledge customers want to interact with people who can answer their questions quickly and correctly to give them the information they need to make their buying decision make sure your employees know what's hot what to say how to handle questions they don't know about then omni channel availability the customers wants to use the channel that they are most comfortable with people behave in different ways so it is important to cater to these different needs whether that's at noon or night monday or a weekend so be prepared for your customers channel preferences and dedicate the right resources to make sure they achieve their goals then easy to use platforms customers want an easy experience with your communication platforms they want to feel smart using them achieve their goal and leave without feeling stressed then products and services that perform well well and do what they are meant to do this customer expectation is the most basic knowing that what they will buy will perform the actions and have the features and functions as advertised when customers buy your product or service they think they are buying exactly what you sold to them but if the product or service breaks it follows that they will expect you to fix it as a part of the transaction you made show integrity by doing what you say you will and sticking to your word suppose you have promised something you have to stick to your word your marketing information and communications out to all your channels should say the same thing in a consistent manner then how to exceed customer expectation so first thing is know what your customer expectations are first thing is you should know what your customers are expecting from you so it's important to check in with customers so you can ask what the experience have been like what the expectations are this is useful information to help improve products and services and improve the customer service knowledge about what the customers want so in short know what your customer expectations are so you can take steps to meet those expectations so if you know exactly what they are expecting from you you can always provide it then second one is renew the focus on providing excellent customer service so the agents need to be quick to help easy to talk and care about the customers that they serve help your customer service employees by reading our free customer service playbook to see how you can improve your customer service regular training on latest company news and product service updates can also help employees remain knowledgeable and support the customer quicker then by making customer centric thinking a part of your work culture you can revitalize what the customer service really means and make it central to the success of your teams rally up executives and see how it can be included in the overall company strategy 
then measure how you are doing against your customer expectations so the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results change is necessary if you want to improve so measure the right metrics to help you understand your service experience and create an action plan measurement is not the goal here improvement is by measuring these metrics we can chart our success then so the next concept is customer satisfaction so in this customer satisfaction or csat is a measure of how well a company's products and services meet the customer's expectation so with the help of customer satisfaction we are able to see how the company is meeting the customer's expectations it reflects your business's health by showing you how well your products are resonating with the buyers customer satisfaction measures how happy a customer was with a support interaction or a purchase customer loyalty on the other hand is an ongoing state loyal customers give the company their repeat business over time it's not a short term measure but a long term understanding of the health of your customer relationship so we should understand that with the help of customer satisfaction you can create loyal customers and these loyal customers are will be there with the company for a long term customer relationship it is most important because it means your customer base likes what you are doing research shows that customer satisfaction leads to customer retention higher lifetime value and stronger brand reputation then five reasons why customer satisfaction is important let us understand them the first one is customer loyalty second one is customer satisfaction measurement third one repeat purchases customer lifetime value new customer acquisition for all these five reasons we need customer satisfaction so how do you get customer satisfaction first one is it drives customer loyalty so satisfied customers tend to share the positive experience with friends and family but the opposite is also true an unhappy customer tells more people about the negative experiences than a happy customer so customer satisfaction metrics reflect on your support team's performance so it benchmarks and metrics do not help you gauge how happy your audience is they also tell you how your support team is doing do a variety of team metrics to understand the customer satisfaction levels then it encourages repeat purchases a satisfied customer is a loyal customer who will stick with your company year after year so how do you get those repeat customers by hitting your customer support staff out of the park so your trend report agrees 57% of the consumers say excellent customer service is a factor in their brand loyalty then it increases customer lifetime value 75% of the customers are willing to spend more to buy from companies that give them good customer experience according to our trends report then satisfied customers are not only more likely to remain loyal and less likely to churn they are also more likely to spend more money with your business then it boosts new customer acquisition customer service is not just important for supporting existing customers it is also to key to bring in the potential customers and supporting them when they reach out if a prospect does not have a positive experience when they interact with your support team they will be less likely to purchase the main difference between service today and service 10 years ago is customers expect premium service to be built in from the first sales or marketing interaction and carry through the moment they ask for help post purchase and back again to position themselves for success businesses must integrate service into the journey at every interaction point 
how to improve customer satisfaction. So with the help of customer feedback, convenience, speed, build a customer focused culture and empathy. Then, so first one is how to improve the customer satisfaction in this become obsessed with the customer feedback. So become a student of your customer feedback. Don't just collect it, analyze it and apply it to what your customers are saying. Commit to learning about buyers pain points and then make a plan to alleviate them in ways that set you apart from the competitors. So you should know what are the feedback you are collecting and how do you make use of the feedback. Create a sense of convenience. The most successful physical stores are all about buyer convenience. Customers enjoy places with flexible hours that fix their schedules. You should also offer opportunities for customers to help themselves. Many customers prefer the hands of convenience of a knowledge base where they can search for information without having to interact with customer support reps. Then deliver faster responses. So in a constantly connected world, customers don't want to wait for a day or even more than just a few hours for a response. Make customer satisfaction a company-wide focus. To improve overall customer satisfaction, you have to put time and effort into a business strategy that puts customers first. Using a tool like the balance scorecard is a great first step. The balance scorecard guides companies in thinking about the operations from four different perspectives. So lead with empathy. If there is one thing the pandemic show, taught us, it is that empathy is an essential skill for support professionals. It is even more valuable than customer service experience. Nearly half of the customers want to interact with an in empathetic customer service representative. Support leaders can provide empathy training, but it is also a good idea to hire support reps who can already put themselves in an angry customer's shoe and communicate that understanding to the customer. Businesses might also consider allowing agents to make exceptions to certain policies in situations that require empathy. So with this, we come to the end of this session. Hope you have all followed it. Thank you.